What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw and color Grizz from Fortnite. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, so I'm gonna go all the way around towards the bottom of that circle, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now we wanna leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of the circle on the right side. Bring that in and then down towards the same height and then pull that back up towards the top. Now I want to draw a smaller circle in the center of the left eye. So we're going to shift this in, starting from the top, draw that circle going all the way around and then back up and then fill in the center of that circle. Now we're gonna draw that large X inside the right eye. So we'll start on the top left. We're gonna draw a V coming down toward the middle. Angle that back up. Now from that center point, we'll step down. It's gonna mark this off. Come down and out towards the side. Let's add another point along the side. Coming in and then back down. And work in the right side and it'll fill the outside of the X in black. Now with the eyes in place, we're going to draw the muzzle in between. Let's start on the inside of the left eye. Start with the curve going up and then back and down. Let's round up the side of the muzzle and pull that back up in the center. So we'll start on the left, going around and then bend that up in the middle. Come down and out towards the right and pull that up underneath the eye. Let's add the nose in the center. From this point, bend this out and up towards the left and right and we'll close off the top with a curve. Now we're gonna tuck the mouth in underneath the muzzle. So let's start on the left side, draw a straight line going out. I'm just gonna line up with the outside edge of the eye. And we'll connect the ends with a curve. Starting on the left, bring the mouth coming all the way down towards the bottom. Go across and then bend that back up. Now let's go inside and add in the teeth. From the center of the muzzle, we'll step down, start with a point. Now we're gonna angle this down and out toward the left and right. Let's add two points facing down. So we step over towards the left, come down towards the bottom. Angle this back up and out underneath the muzzle. Now I'm gonna draw that same point along the side. Up towards the top. And we're just leaving a gap along the top of the mouth. And come down and then out. Now I'm going to add one more point. Coming down towards the bottom. And I'll angle this up and out towards the corners of the mouth. Now from here we're going to draw a large circle around the face. Let's start with the bottom half. From the outside of the left eye, we step out, curve the bottom half of that circle, coming down, pull this in underneath the chin, continue along the right side, and then up. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top half of our circle. So we'll go up, round up the head, and in towards the center, and bring that back down towards the right. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw two half circles for the ears. Let's start on the top left, draw the half circle, going all the way around, and then just pull that back in. Let's line this up over on the right, going all the way around, and then pull the ear coming back in. Let's trace the ears along the inside. Now 
Now we'll draw the back side of the head in behind the mask. Let's start over on the left side, inside the ear. Curve across. Just want to curve the head going all the way around towards the right. Let's go underneath the ears. And curve around the head. And we'll bend that in. Now before we draw in the arms, let's move in and draw the side of the body. We we'll start over on the left side, just underneath the head. We we'll curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, going out and then down towards the same height. Now you want to connect the hips with the curve. We'll bring this down the middle and then back up. Let's add a trim across the top of the body. From here we're going to step down, put this up towards the chin and then bend that back down. Let's add that simple frame along the inside. Starting on the top left, we'll trace the center, going across, and then from the ends, bend this down and then out towards the side of the body. From the side, we're gonna angle down and then in, leaving a gap in the center. And we'll connect the ends with the curve. Now we're gonna draw a simple face in the center of the body. Let's start with an oval, going all the way around, and back up towards the top. Let's add an upside down triangle on the top of the nose, and we'll fill that in. Come down with a short line, and then angle the mouth going up towards the right. Now we're gonna place the eyes along the top. Starting on the left, angle down and in, the top of the muzzle. And then from the inside of the brow, draw two short lines going up. Let's add in the eyes, curving around and then in behind the muzzle. And a small half circle on the top, and we'll fill those in black. Now we're going to draw on the top of the head. Starting on the left, curve this up and across towards the right. Angles down towards the center. Go up and down. And we'll curve the ears in behind the frame. Now we move down, curve the ears coming in toward the eye, then it's down and then out. Now let's close off the bottom of the head, coming down underneath the muzzle, then back up, and then along the side, then the body going out. Now we'll continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the center, step down and add a curve, going up and then down towards the right. Then we'll leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and then up towards the side. Let's go back up to the hips, then we'll round out the leg, going out, and we'll just pull that in towards the ankle. And then from the tip of the foot, curve this up and then in towards the ankle. Let's separate the toes with two curves. We'll start on the outside, step in, draw that twice. And now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the inside edge, starting halfway down the side of the body. Curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then line this up on the right side. Let's add a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now let's wrap three fingers around either side. Starting underneath the thumb, start by coming down and up around that bracket. Step down, and down, and then up. Now let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now we want to draw the last finger going up towards the elbow and then around the shoulders. So let's start on the outside, curve the finger going out, and pull that up and in. Let's go back to the left side, we're going to round the shoulder, and just tuck that in behind the side of the head. Now we're going to go in with our darkest gray and fill the inside of the head and the outside of the ears. Go 
work our way around the eyes and the mouth. We need that same color across the bottom of the body. These are bright green inside that X. And we'll fill the stripes inside the mouth with our red. We're using our light gray inside the left eye. The nose. Now use a slightly lighter gray inside the muzzle. Now let's use this aqua blue and fill in the rest of the body. Now we're going to use our lime green pencil crayon and just add a glow across the hands and the feet. And then as you go up, I'm just going to fade this out. And just add some patterns across the arms. And we'll switch to our white pencil crown and just add a glow across the outside of the body. Just lighten this up and then just blend that in. I'm using my yellow Posca marker to add a bit more texture and lines inside the body. And once we finish coloring this in, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color grids from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.